Up today on How to Fix Shop 101, we're gonna drain, clean, and refill this hot tub. This is Tool Dude Tony. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of How to Fix Shit 101. On today's episode, we've got hot tub maintenance to do. This bad boy needs to have its water changed. It's about time. So we're going to drain this thing, we're going to clean it out, and we're going to refill it here today. The tools that we're going to need are pretty simple. We've got a couple of 10-foot uh, garden hoses, a pump, also have these little plugs, then we also have this um, cleaning mitt. We're going to use this to go over the whole inside of this thing, get it all buffed up real nice. Just your basic uh, terry cloth cotton towel and then a uh, shop vac. And you'll see what that's for later on also. Let's get at it. What do you say? The hot tub we're working with today is a Hot Springs Portable Spa. It's the Sovereign model, but I think all the Hot Springs models all work pretty much the same way. <laughs> First thing we have to do is turn off the power. We definitely don't want to get zapped by this. Get this uh, stairway out of the way. Down here are a couple of drain plugs. There's two of them. I'm just going to disconnect one of them. We'll go ahead and hook up a hose, get this water going where we want it. Now, this is a Coleman pump that I got to pump this water out. This is actually a one-third horsepower pump. It uh, sucks up from the bottom, gets really close to the bottom in there, and uh, should get most of the water out. And drop this down here by the drain and run this hose over here into the grass. I'm plugging this pump into a ground fault interrupting circuit. Okay, there it goes. That's putting out some serious water there. <laughs> 2,000 gallons an hour. This thing should be done here in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. There it goes. The water level's down already. Wow. Well, that's pumping out. We have more work to do here. Okay, we'll take these filters out. While I've got the uh, filters out of the hot tub, I'm going to go ahead and give them a good hose down. Try and get all the crud off of them with the uh, regular garden hose here. Ooh, they get whiter. Look at that. Huh? You want to rinse them until they turn white. See how this is white here? This is still thick and brown, coffee colored. Until that turned white, you want to keep rinse from it. These are the standpipes the filters screw onto. We do want to take all of those out. So they just unscrew. Attach the hose to the outlet valve on the shop back so that this blows air. Not sucks it like you'd normally use this thing, but to blow it. We're going to blow out those uh, holes where those standpipes were. Remember these plugs that I had that I showed you earlier? We're going to stick these in those holes where the standpipes were. Okay, they have little wing nuts here on top. I'm just going to loosen it up for now, make sure they're fully expanded or not expanded, and just stick them in the holes and tighten them up so that they make a secure. When you tighten, when you tighten it down, then it causes the uh, rubber to expand. So let's plug them all up, all but one. Let's stick that in the hole. You want to have a good fit there. And we'll turn the shop back on. Blowing stuff back out through those jets. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with all those standpipe holes now, all four of them. Look at all this crud that came up out of those pipes. Yuck. Okay, put these bad boys back in. Looks like the pump's bottoming out. Looks like we're about done here with the draining. I'm gonna set this then in each of these seats too. How about all this one? I switched the shop back, back over to uh, sucking action. I'm gonna try and get the rest of this water out of some of these areas. Like in here. Huh. Right, 
Now I'm going to use one of these spa cleaning mitts and go over the entire inside of this thing. So this is a Ziploc bag. This comes with uh, five of these cleaning mitts. Uh, you only need one per cleaning, so this should last me a while. Directions. Read the entire label. Makes your cleaning easy. One pre-treated mitt removes dirt, oil, lime, water buildup from your spa. Regular use of these mitts will reduce and may eliminate the need for traditional cleaning products, which I do not intend to use. After use, dispose of mitt and household trash. Do not reuse and wash your hands thoroughly when you're done. Let's do this. I think we'll just start on this side. I'll do the whole side. Put it on. Oh yeah, look at that. It's cutting the crud already. Huh. Leave it. Okay, so just do that over the whole thing. Now I'm supposed to hit it with a uh, clean towel. I've got this white terry cloth cotton towel here. I'm just going to go over the whole inside. Try to get any little pieces of crud that are in here out of here. So, just wipe down the whole thing again. Okay, the wipe down's done. Now it's time to uh, plug this thing back up and uh, get her going. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the hose with the little uh, cap here. So that when I fill it up, it won't leak back out. So go ahead and put all the filters back and put the uh, caps on all of them except for the gray one. You want to leave the gray one off. We're going to fill it through there. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill it. I fill mine through this uh, gray one. And we wait. Once it's filled at least halfway up, go ahead and turn the power back on. That'll get that pump moving and start filtering out some of that crud it's still in there. You'll know if your uh, main pump's on if you've got bubbles coming up out of your uh, inlet down there. Okay, that water's coming in pretty cold, 56 degrees. As long as it's over 50, we're okay. Once the water level gets up over these jets, I'm going to go ahead and kick on the clean cycle. Okay. Once it's full, go ahead and put your... Uh, cap back on that gray filter. That's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this thing on clean. Well, and that is how our pool and spa dealer recommended we clean this hot tub. Really wasn't too bad. It took some extra time because I was making the video, but all together I think you're probably talking a couple hours, maybe three hours. Now I still have to do the chemicals, balance out the pH, put in the stabilizer, and probably shock it once before I get into this thing. It also has to warm up about 40 degrees too. I mean, that water is freezing in there. Definitely not a hot tub today. Maybe a cold tub. Maybe a hypothermia tub. Definitely not a hot tub. But hey, it'll warm up. Okay, so this is Stool Dude Tony. I want to thank you for watching this episode of How to Fix Shit 101. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe press that like button down there. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, share this with your friends and definitely give me some comments. Interested to know what you want and what you think about these videos. Definitely appreciate your feedback. So, uh, hey, as I'm always saying, if you're not fixing it yourself, you're paying somebody else to fix it. So get out there and fix something. Tool Dude, out of here.